So living in the U.S., I've never actually popped down to the pub for a pint of bitters, but that has not stopped me from enjoying extra special bitters. Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today I will be drinking, for the first time, San Juan Island Brewing Company's Bull Kelp Extra Special Bitter. Bitters are a very traditional English beer style. In fact, it's become uh, a like a super brand. Uh, you know, you say blow your nose or get a Kleenex, and, and you don't necessarily mean get a Kleenex. You might have puffs on your shelf or Kirkland or Walmart brand, but you say Kleenex, even though that's a brand, it's a brand, and it's kind of a super brand. You know what the thing is by the brand. Bitters is a kind of a super style of beer and it is a specific style of beer. So first off the simple bits, bitter is to set it apart from mild. A bitter beer is a more strongly hopped, more bitter beer versus a mild being a less strongly hopped, more malt forward beer. However, being that this is uh, English brewing, British brewing, we are not talking about super IPA levels of bitterness in a bitter beer. Your typical bitter beer is going to be two to four, maybe five percent ABV, and it's going to still have a strong and, and present malt character, but the hops will play a dominant part in the flavor still. Um, and typically these are going to be uh, Kent or Goldings. Um, I think Fuggles is another type of hops uh, native to the UK that'll be commonly used in bitters. There's the bitters and then there's the extra bitters or the special bitters, which are slightly more, slightly higher alcohol content, uh, three to five, maybe six percent. And then extra special are the heaviest, <laughs> the heaviest, the most alcoholic of the uh, the bitter beer styles. In the UK, that's going to be 5 to 6%, which is still pretty low here on the other side of the pond. Um, you'll find that's generally the case, that American beer styles are just higher ABV, and we tolerate and deal with a much higher ABV level in our average beer. That's just how it is. Uh, culture, history, whatever, that's just, that's just how things are. Um, so this is an extra special bitter, so I'm going to expect it to be a higher ABV, but still definitely mild by U.S. standards, and indeed it is a 5.7%. So this would actually fall towards the high end of a traditional U.K. extra special bitter. I've had a few other extra special bitters. Um, one that I particularly enjoyed was down in um, Oregon at Ferment Brewing. And I would really like to find a few cans of those up here somewhere. Or on draft would be even better. But I haven't. So San Juan, um, I really enjoyed San Juan Island's Black Boar Porter. I think it might have been about a year ago that I tried it. And that was a really, really excellent porter. So I'm looking forward to this. And in fact, this uses East Kent Golding Hops. So it even uses, it's a traditional, um, it's within the traditional range for UK bitters, and it actually uses a traditional UK hop to, to, to brew it. So super awesome. They're going for um, authenticity, and I'm going for messy pour. Uh, probably the most close cousin of the bitter that you'll find in American uh, beer styles would be the pale ale. And in fact, uh, British brewers were calling it the pale ale, and their drinkers were calling it the bitter. So that's, that's actually how things are. You'll, they're, they're kind of one of the same. But once again, going back to American versus UK beer styles, the American pale ale is typically going to be much lighter colored, whereas a bitter can range from straw to gold to near you know copper, almost approaching an amber before it becomes, becomes something else. And indeed, this is orange juice. That's what it is. It's orange juice. <laughs> uh, no, this is a this is a, a cloudy, unfiltered, is what it looks like. Um, the head's kind of hanging around a bit. That, that's kind of nice. It appears to have some body to it. Come on, swirl. Don't just swing. Um, yeah, that's a really, really nice looking head. Um, 
what, light copper, probably? Yeah, light copper, dark gold. Yeah, looks about right. Huh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm smelling the maltiness, but it smells not thin, attenuated might be a way to describe it. In fact, the first thing that comes to mind, and this is not a good point, it smells a bit like some of the better of the gluten-free beers. So we'll see, we'll see what happens there. Um, yeah, this is right down the line with it. It's a very traditional British style beer. Um, so there's, there's kind of mown fields Bit of an earthiness and that might actually be what it is the uh, so another distinction English hops versus or English beers versus American beers uh, English hops typically have an earthier character to the various families of, of, of English hops whereas American hops tend to have a brighter more citrus character so you're going to expect this, as they use the Kent Goldings, that this is going to have an earthier hoppiness rather than a bright citrus or, or you know, super sharp pine. And that might be where that kind of earthy, uh, funky, green mown fields kind of uh, flavor comes from. It smells good. I mean, it, 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 it smells pleasant. It's not trying too hard to be anything. It's, it's not, uh, I would expect the, the extra special bitter to be... Um, especially for American uh, uh, sensibilities, I would expect it to be a comfortable, easy drinker. That's, that's what the beer is targeted at. The bitter itself was the, the beer you had after a hard day's work and you drank two or three glasses of them uh, or more. <laughs> and that nice low ABV helped. Uh, it, was, it was the every man's beer. It still is in a lot of ways, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, okay, so a couple different, couple different flavors going on there. Um, <clears throat> it is, it's very nicely juicy. It tastes fresh, um, and and there's there's still those kind of those green fields and definitely that earthy that earthy hoppiness rather than, you know, in contrast with a, a pine or a, or a citrus that you'd expect from a U.S. hop. Very much an, an earthy hoppiness. Um, the, the malt is there. It's present and, and it plays very nicely. There's a bit of a sweetness lingering. Uh, from what I understand, typically an extra special bitter is going to have, is going to want to finish with a bit of a dry, a dry bitterness. And I will say I'm not getting that here. So I would guess they could probably actually use a good amount more hops in this and still be well within the family. And in fact, the the ferment brewing extra special bitter that I had um, back last April had that character. It had a nice big malty middle and and these hops that just kind of held all the way through. And you can probably go back and look. I did a, a brewery review there, a brewery tour video at... Not, not an actual tour of the brewery, just, you know, drinking a flat of their beers <laughs> down there at the Ferment Tap Room. And, um, and I talked about that beer there. I probably have to re-listen it just to remind myself. Um, but that beer was definitely more strongly hopped. This is definitely gone to the softer side of that. Um, and it might also be that at the Ferment Brewing, they used more American hops. And so to appeal to American brewing sensibilities. This is a perfectly adequate middle of the road, tasty, it's not trying too hard, it's going to fit well with any meal you have, but it's also nice enough to drink by itself. Um, it's not a super special humdinger that you're going to stick away in your cupboards for years to see how it blooms or that you're going to save for the special occasions. It's the beer you're going to want to bring out um, for a night of cards or something like that. Or you've just gotten home from a hard days of work and you just want to kick back. You know, don't toss me a bud, toss me a bitters. Yeah, yeah, it's all there. It's good. It's juicy. It's earthy. 
You can taste the malts. You can taste the hops. They're all there. All, they're all playing very nicely together, and it's a very pleasant thing. Uh, once again, San Juan's Brewing has has done a really good job um, producing a, a very traditional English style beer. I'm going to guess, based on what I have seen of them, that they kind of focus on um, English styles, but that also might simply be because those are the two that I've had. Uh, though to be honest, I have a rye lager by San Juan Brewing that is in my fridge that I am looking forward to getting out soon and reviewing. Um, but yeah, good beer. Good beer by good people. San Juan Brewing Company's Bull Kelp Extra Special Bitter. I haven't been to the pub for my pint of bitters, but I've certainly had my pint of bitters here. Or I will have had my pint of bitters well before the time you watch this. You know how that works. Anyways, this is Matthew. I've been chewing the brew. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>